This algebra video will focus on multiplying out brackets, particularly when you have double brackets multiplying. The instruction for each question and example will be expand and simplify. And the approach that I'm going to take in this video is just the standard expansion method. So here's my first example. It's x plus 3 by x plus 5. Now, you'll notice that I have a set of brackets around the expression x plus 3, and I have a set of brackets around the expression x plus 5. And what this means is that everything in the first bracket must multiply by everything in the second bracket. And one way that we can represent this on the page is to actually split up the first bracket and write each term in the first bracket before a copy of the second bracket, like this. So I've got the x from the first bracket multiplied by the second bracket. And I've got the plus 3 from the first bracket multiplied by the second bracket. Now I just go ahead and multiply as normal. So I'm going to multiply x by x, and that's going to give me x squared. I'm going to multiply x by plus 5, and that's going to give me plus 5x. Moving on to the next bracket then, plus 3 by x is going to give me plus 3x, and plus 3 by plus 5 is going to give me plus 15. I've done all my expanding, so I've multiplied out all my brackets, and now I need to simplify by putting like terms together. So looking through my expression, the x squared is there by itself. There are no like terms to go with it. So I'll write down x squared for that. The 5x and the 3x are like terms, so I'll put those together. Again, don't forget, I'll do that by using their coefficients. Plus 5 plus 3 makes plus 8. And then finally, the plus 15 has no like term to go with it, so it just gets written down as plus 15. And this is as far as I can go in example 1. I've expanded by multiplying out my brackets. I've simplified by tidying up my like terms using addition and subtraction. There aren't any more like terms left, so I'll stop here. Here's a pretty simple second example. It's very like example 1. Pause the video now, write down this example, and see if you can work it out yourself, and then play and see if you're correct. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is break up that first bracket and write a copy of the second bracket after each of its terms. So this just means that the x from the first bracket must multiply by the second bracket, x bracket x minus 1, and the plus 4 from the first bracket must also multiply by the entire second bracket, so plus 4 by x minus 1. So now that I've broken up those brackets, I can begin to multiply as normal. x by x is going to give me x squared. x by minus 1 is going to give me minus 1x. plus 4 by x is going to give plus 4x. and plus 4 by minus 1 is going to give minus 4. So now I've finished expanding, I've done all my multiplication, now I need to simplify by putting the like terms together. So, how is that going to turn out? Well, the x squared is there by itself. There's no like term to go with it because there's no more x squareds in the expression. The minus 1x and the plus 4x will go together because they both end in x. So that's minus 1 plus 4. Again, don't hesitate to use your calculator if you need to with this. I know some people find it tricky. So minus 1 plus 4 is going to give you plus 3. So we write down plus 3x. And then finally, minus 4 at the end that's by itself as well, no like term for it. So I'll just write minus 4 at the end. And now I'm finished example 2, this is as far as I can go. Okay, here's example 3. Same instruction, expand and simplify. Pause the video here, see if you can manage this yourself, and then play and see if you're correct. If you get stuck at any stage, play just enough to prompt yourself, and then see can you get to the end. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to split up the brackets. So how is that going to look? So I'll have the 2x from the first bracket multiplied by the second bracket. So there we have 2x bracket 3x minus 2. And I also have the minus 1 from the first bracket multiplied by the whole second bracket. So that's minus 1 by 3x minus 2. Now we begin to multiply. Okay, so 2x by 3x is going to give me 6x squared. So that's just by saying 2 by 3 is 6, x by x is x squared. 
Next we have 2x by minus 2. What's that going to give me? That'll be minus 4x. Now I've got minus 1 by 3x. That's going to give me minus 3x. And then minus 1 by minus 2. Well, don't forget, a minus by a minus makes a plus. So that's going to give me plus 2. Now I want to simplify, putting like terms together. So I've got 6x squared. There's no other x squared terms. So that'll just stay as is. Then I've got minus 4x minus 3x. Minus 4x minus 3x is going to give me minus 7x. And finally, the plus 2 at the end. Well, there's no like term to go with it. So I'll just write down plus 2. And this is my finished workings for example 3. Here's one last example, example 4. So we've got 2x plus 3y times 3x plus 2y. Again, pause the video here and see if you can work this out yourself. And play and see if you're correct. So I've split up the first bracket and multiplied each term in the first bracket by the full second bracket. Okay, now I need to multiply. Okay, so I've got 2x by 3x. What's that going to give me? That'll be 6x squared. And then I've got 2x by 2y. So what's that going to give me? It'll be plus 4xy. And that's because I've got a positive by a positive is a positive. 2 by 2 is 4. And then x by y is xy. Next, I've got plus 3y by 3x. What should I get here? The best way of writing what I get when I multiply in this case is plus 9xy. So positive by a positive is positive. 3 by 3 is 9. And then I've got y multiplying by x. But I'll try to write my variables in alphabetical order. So x should get written down before y. This is mostly so that in a little while I'll be able to spot like terms easily. Finally, I have to multiply plus 3y by plus 2y. This will give me plus 6y squared. Okay, now I need to go and have a look and see can I simplify using like terms. So the 6x squared, well, there's no other term ending in x squared, so that will stay by itself. The 4xy and the 9xy end in the exact same variables, so I can put those together as like terms. That's plus 13xy. And then finally, I have the 6y squared. There's no like term to go with it because nothing else ends in y squared. So I'll write plus 6y squared at the end. There's nothing more that I can do in this question. There's no more multiplication because all the brackets are gone and there are no like terms left at this stage. So I can't do any more and I've finished the question.